actually, I'm not going to do that. I have something to read. Like anybody who's seen me speak, I do not usually read off a teleprompter, but today I'm going to. Uh, I'm Gigi Bowman, treasurer of the Suffolk County Libertarian Party, president of Liberty Candidates, and candidate for New York State Senate District 5, and now uh, vice chair of the New York State Libertarian Party. I'd like to talk to all of you today about potential. Right now, the Libertarian Party has the greatest potential to win seats in New York State than ever before. Many Republican legislators voted for the New York SAFE Act and against the Second Amendment. Many Democrats and Republican congressmen and our two New York State senators voted for the Monsanto Protection Act, which puts corporations above people. You can no longer buy an energy drink without showing ID. The right and left have implemented Agenda 21 Common Core curriculum in the public schools. And there's a bill in New York State to mandate Gardasil vaccines without parental consent. I could go on, but the loss of liberty through these new bills and mandates being voted on by our current slate of legislators would take all day. Right now, the Libertarian Party is the only party that stands up for the Constitution. We're the only party that stands up for individual liberty. And we're the only party that stands against corporatism and doesn't want to control the family unit through force. On Long Island, I've recently watched as 8,500 mothers and fathers join together in a few weeks on a Facebook page to fight the Common Core curriculum in the public schools. I've also recently watched as hundreds of men and women joined in rallies and meetings to have the legislators hear their voice in opposition to the New York SAFE Act only to be ignored. And excitedly, I've also watched as so many new faces have made the move to join the Libertarian Party because they are literally disgusted by the legislators in the parties they once believed in and asked about running for office themselves because they are so disparaged by what's taking place around them. The time is now for us to realize our potential and move forward as a strong party with a viable alternative to the massive overreach of government taking place. If we could just get some of our candidates elected. Well, we can't do that if we don't open our arms to new people coming into the party and accept their ideas without shutting them down. We can't do that if we don't accept change and stick steadfastly to what feels like a comfortable shoe, but what we know has not worked in the past. And we can't do that if we don't work together and instead let petty issues divide us. And we can't do that if we put our egos before the good we originally set out to do. We need to come together as a viable working party with strength in our convictions and a real plan to get candidates in office. We need to come together to show our constituents that we are not here to rule or control or create new laws, but rather to nullify and repeal laws in our own state. We are armed with tools and passion and reason, yet most of us spend too much time disagreeing and tearing each other down. I've watched it happen in my county, in my state, and in the National Party. I've watched it happen in email circles and on public Facebook pages. And it does us no good for the public to see that we don't really have it all together. If we want to take our country back, we have to start at home, and that means working together, incorporating new ideas, and being kind to one another. We need to open our arms to new members who have embraced our message and made the move to join us. Opening our arms to new members will give us the needed bodies to help us move forward so that we can collect signatures, raise funds, network, and gain specific talents like web building, social networking, marketing, video recording, and editing, and the like, so um, that they too can help spread their libertarian message and have more people vote for our candidates. Our message is one of true liberty and freedom, and we have the greatest potential as a party to win seats for the first time in a long time. The Republicans and Democrats have shown their true colors and have disappointed many, Let's get out there and reach our true potential and get our candidates elected. Let's work together and make it happen. 
And let's, as many of us as possible, take a step forward to run for office. Thank you.